Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you another Walmart try on haul. You are gonna be so pleased with what I have to share with you today. I found some amazing fall wardrobe staples, things that you can style multiple ways, dress up and down, not to mention the prices are amazing. So let's get right into it. I'll have everything linked down below and also pinned to a top comment with all of my sizing info. And I hope you enjoy today's affordable fall look. First up from Walmart is this off the shoulder sweater. I'm wearing an extra small, so there is some room to size down in this one. And it is a very comfortable off the shoulder sweater. It doesn't move around a ton. Although with all of them, I feel like you do need to kind of readjust if you're wanting it to sit a certain way. So with this sweater, you can style it a couple different ways. You can go with a more asymmetrical look. You can make it like wider and straight, or you can kind of let it fold over and ruche a little bit. And you can also wear it a little bit more on the shoulder if you want it to be more of like a boat neck style top. This sweater does not have a snug fit on the stomach, but it's also not oversized either. It is sort of in between the two. So if you do want a sweater that isn't gonna cling to your tummy area, if you're wanting to conceal that area a little bit more, this one has a really flattering fit through the waist and hips. I paired it with this horse bit mini skirt. This one's not from Walmart, but it is, I think generally under 50, then you can find it on sale. So it's another affordable piece. And then just some knee high boots. I will do a roundup of some shoe options if you're on the market down below. Here is a quick look of it untucked so you can see the length and the overall fit. So it's not snug, but it's also not considered oversized either. And it does have the V on the side. All right, next up, this cardigan, you will not believe the price point on it. It is like 18, 19 bucks. It comes in four color options. I love this neutral kind of heathered oatmeal. It has a mix of gray and browns in it. And I also really like the ribbing here. It falls really nicely. It has little side pockets, little side slit. I'm wearing an extra small in this one. I generally do size down in cardigans just so they don't cover up my the entire front of my outfit. So I like them to fit a little bit smaller, but this one does have like a cozier fit. This would be so cute to throw on even just over top of leggings if you want that cozy layer. And then underneath, I switched out my sweater for this turtleneck basic, which these are easily my most reach for top during fall and winter. I love to pair them with skirts, like midi skirts, and just casually with jeans. So if you don't have good basics like this, these are only $15 and they have multiple colors. I also picked it up in red for the holidays. The turtleneck is not tight. It has just enough room where you can fold it under just once, or you can let it kind of like gather around the neck. I just like the clean look when you tuck it in like this. It's true to size. I'm wearing a small, and it's really easy to layer with because it does have a nice fit through the arm. And both of these pieces would also work fabulous in your work wardrobe as well but I also love how you can dress them down. I just have no words for this outfit and how much happiness it brings me. For those of you who love to wear your light and airy colors year round, this is a perfect example on how to do that. And this also, this outfit is so me and also just a great example of how I like to mix high and low. I have done that from the beginning of my channel. I love to find affordable pieces from Walmart and Target and Amazon, but still incorporating them and kind of elevating them with more expensive pieces that I've invested in over the years. And I personally like to invest in accessories and find more affordable clothing options. So this is exactly how I do that. The scarf is Burberry and then this is like a Dolce & Gabbana purse. I actually did find this on sale and I do think it is still available, kind of discounted if you have had your eye on this handbag. Um, I found it on Saks Off Fifth. And then this is that $15 turtleneck basic that you're gonna get so much cost per wear out of, but doesn't break the bank. And then I just got in these knee high boots. My wardrobe has been desperately needing a lighter pair of boots because I do love like light and airy outfits. And this is the perfect way to keep those going throughout fall and winter. I also have a style hack for those of you who like to tuck in your tops into skirts, for example. I love to throw on a pair of Spanx. These aren't super compressive and they are very like short. And I use them just to tuck my tops into so it doesn't add any bulk through here. And it also keeps it secure so it doesn't bunch up and it just gives it a much cleaner look. 
Next up is this sweater dress. This one comes in five or six different neutral color options. You can also find similar versions to this on Amazon, but personally I have found that Walmart tends to have the better price point, but I'll link both below because you can compare because prices do change pretty consistently, even daily. So I have actually two other sweater dresses very similar to this one. They're a little bit thicker and I find them to be just a great go-to, especially during winter for date nights. They are so flattering. They would also make for really great casual event dresses if it is cooler out. Um, and I just find them to be so flattering. I love the V. I feel like it really draws the eye to the waist and gives you a gorgeous hourglass shape, especially since it's a little bit kind of flowier, like roomier on top and then fitted on the bottom. I just find it proportionally to be extremely flattering on a lot of different body types. I'm wearing a size small. I paired it with these darker knee high boots. One thing I will mention about styling these, this color is a bit cooler toned. So I wanted to add in a contrasting boot. If you struggle with mixing in brown tones during the fall and winter, I feel like contrasting is always the safer way to go versus trying to match the browns perfectly. I originally tried these on with some lighter over the knee boots and I just felt like it looked pretty blah. The contrasting boot definitely made it pop a little bit better. And then this little handbag, I've had a couple years, I'll try to find some similar options, but I love how it is two-toned again to tie in the different brown tones. Also, in full disclosure, I do have some Spanx underneath this because I feel more confident when I wear the Spanx. Just smooths everything out, especially I have a pretty big belly button. So with fitted pieces, I hate when you can see my belly button coming through. So that is generally why I do wear Spanx with more fitted clothes. If you do need a good pair of Spanx, I have a promo code I will put in the description below. This is another fitted sweater dress. And to be honest, the quality of this one doesn't blow me away. I have tried other items at the same price point. This one retails for 29 and I just feel like they're either softer or thicker and just feel a little bit better quality. Um, I think it's the texture of the top for the most part that feels, I wouldn't say it's scratchy or itchy, but it is like noticeable. So I feel a little overstimulated in it and it just feels thinner, which is a disappointment. But I think that's also kind of the point to get this detailing. So just wanted to be honest about that with y'all, but it is very unique and different. I think this is very flattering. It is thinner, so I would recommend Sphinx underneath just to keep everything concealed because I do think you will see lines underneath this because the material, like I said, is not super thick, but it is very flattering. It has a little slit on the side. I styled it with a slim over the knee nude boot. I believe this also comes in black as well. And these would be fabulous for work if you're looking for a comfy pull-on pant. They do have a slit on the side and they are very stretchy. I will say they're not as forgiving line-wise, so I would definitely wear like a seamless thong underneath these just because the material isn't super thick and compressive, which could help hide that. I'm wearing a small, which is a 4.6. True to size, this is a chocolate brown color. I shared and this pea coat with y'all last month, but I did see that it was restocked. It comes in three color options. It's pretty roomy. I size down to an extra small in mine, and it has sort of this textured boucle fabric. It is lined on the inside. And I switched out my top for that lounge set top, actually. It is very stretchy, so I did have to tuck it in just so it looked... A little dressier and not as casual but I think it totally works outside of loungewear as well because it's just a clean kind of classic sweater tank staple um, if you are in between I would say you can size down in this because like I said it's just very stretchy and then I kept on those same chocolate pants the outfits so far have definitely leaned a little dressier so if you do like more casual looks with jeans or even leggings I wanted to style a few outfits for you as well. So I put on that turtleneck from earlier and just threw it on with some basic jeans and some brown accessories and booties. I do have a promo code for this belt for 15% off that I'll put in the description box. You could just leave this outfit as is. You could throw on a scarf over top 
and as it gets cooler you can of course layer so here are a couple layering options with these bases. Your style tinseline more casual than a cardigan is the perfect option for you and I have always loved how longer cardigans balance out my proportions. I have a shorter torso so I like to still define my waist and tuck my top in but I also like how visually this cardigan sort of lengthens my torso in a way. It's been a go-to of mine for workwear looks for years. I've talked about that little styling hack. Speaking of short torso styling tips, if you are looking for ideas, I do have a blog post with a bunch of different tips and tricks to styling a shorter waist. So I will have that linked for you down below if you're looking for some more styling tips. Now I am not the biggest leather jacket girl. I just haven't found myself reaching for them a ton in previous years. But for those of you looking for something a little less casual than a cardigan, but not something as dressy as say a wrap coat, this is a good in-between option. And I did wanna try this year's version from Walmart. This year's version is cut very flattering. It's higher up, like more cropped in the back, then drops down to a V in the front, which I actually really like proportionately. I like how it's hitting above the hips here because I feel like it is less boxy that way and a little more feminine and just defines like your shape a lot better. I did size down to this one to an extra small just because I do typically like my layers to fit a little more snug, but just keep in mind with sizing, if you're wanting to wear bulkier sweaters underneath, then I would definitely get your normal size. This one is also not intended to be zipped up or anything, which I actually think I like a lot more because it's a lot cleaner and it doesn't have, like a lot of leather jackets have the asymmetrical zipper and I just don't find them symmetrical. So I actually think this one is way better than other faux jackets that I've tried. All right, here is actually the same fit underneath, but I saw that this pea coat was restocked and this has been a bestseller this past month. I think it's right around 50 bucks. I did size down to an extra small, so as long as you're not wearing too bulky of sweaters underneath, there is some room to size down. And the jacket is fairly boxy, so I definitely prefer the size down but it does have a little shape to it. So even if you don't wear it closed up, you still have a little bit of an A-line look to it. It has these tortoise buttons and a little bit of a boucle texture to it. And it is lined on the inside and has like deeper front pockets. Um, these are angled, which I personally prefer when it comes to jackets. I don't like when they are just like robe pockets. I prefer like a stitched in pocket like this. And then I just threw over, I have another color in the Burberry scarf to tie in the brown accessories. And I feel like just to elevate it a little bit. Okay, you guys, if you are looking for a comfy lounge set, I cannot get over how soft and comfortable this one is. It's a sweater material, but it's not too thick and heavy. It is still like a lighter weight material. It's very stretchy. Wow, I cannot get over these. I did roll the waistband because the inseam was very long and I have a really short torso. So just a heads up there, but this isn't like too tight and compressive. And then the top is a matching set, sleeveless. I'm wearing a small, they do have a couple color options. And then over top, cause I like to have a little layering piece on top. I paired it with this best-selling Walmart cardigan. I'm wearing a small in this one. They have a few color options. There's, I know pink and black as well but this has been a bestseller this year and i have no doubts that this lounge set will sell out quickly all right this is what i'm really here for when it comes to cozy fall vibes to be honest and this is what i wear most of the time around the house um, i love that the cardigan is long enough to wear with leggings and i also really like the tone of it you can really see how it plays into these like neutral brown leggings and the uggs very nicely I actually have found a look for less to the Uggs, so if these are over your budget, I'll link the look for less down below. Those are all the new Walmart finds I have to share with you today. If you're looking for more affordable finds, I recently did an Amazon video, and let me know where you wanna see my next try-on haul from down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more Walmart hauls, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.